Well, welcome back to the Survivalist 2008 channel. And this evening I'd like to give you my choices for the best portable SHTF bug out HF VHF UHF ham transceivers as of September 2014. Here's my criteria. These are radios that will be suitable for SHTF and bug out usage. They have to be small and lightweight. They have to be affordable. They have to cover all bands and all modes. They also have to have a general coverage receiver and they need to have a hundred watts output. Jumping right in, number one is the Yaesu FT-857D. I recommend this one highly. It's very lightweight, very small, it covers all bands, all modes. It covers 60 meters. Its general coverage has a DSP receive in it, 100 watts. And you can get it on Gigaparts for about $735. They have a, a coupon right now. It's a great deal. Number two choice is the choice that I made, the ICOM IC706 Mark IIG. It is a discontinued radio, but you can still find it on the used market. It's still lightweight, still small. It covers HF 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. It does not have 60 meters in it, however. It's got a great general coverage receiver with a great DSP circuit. It puts out 100 watts, or you can turn all of these radios down to 5 watts. And you can find it on eBay for about 650 bucks, even maybe even cheaper at a uh, ham fest. Number three is the ICOM IC7000. It's also discontinued, and you'll see that most all of the great radios that ICOM had for portable or small backpack use have been discontinued. They do have the 7100, but I'm not including that in my list. The IC7000 is also lightweight 5.1 pounds still it's small it covers HF 60 meters 6 meters 2 meters and 70 centimeters it uh, has a great general coverage receiver with the DSP circuitry it's uh, about a hundred watts output of course you can turn it down to five you can get it about a thousand bucks used or maybe about fourteen hundred bucks on uh, eBay new they still are available new uh, if you look. Now we're moving on to number four and this is a heavier radio and I put this in the list because I think it's a great radio but it is heavier. The Yaesu FT897D. This is also a discontinued radio but it is still available. Still can find it. It's uh, 8.6 pounds. It's a larger radio it also has 60 meters as well as HF 2 meters, 6 meters, and 70 centimeters. Uh, great general coverage received, DSP, lots of features. And it's available, you can um, buy some optional battery packs to slip into the uh, uh, radio and carry. Uh, it of course runs anywhere from uh, 5 watts up to 100 watts. And on Gigaparts, I found it for $949. So that's a pretty good deal. Well, number five is an honorable mention. It's the Yaesu FT817ND. This is a great radio. It's actually the perfect radio for backpacking, except it doesn't put out the 5 watts. That's the limiting factor on this radio. It's 2.6 pounds, very small. It covers all the, all the bands that you need. It's general coverage. It uh, operates on battery packs. It operates from 8 to 16 volts DC, but it puts out 5 watts. And I really feel like any radio that you're going to be using in the woods or for an SHTF, you may need more than 5 watts. It's always good to have a 100 watt radio. You can always turn those down to 5 watts and save on power. But uh, anyway, this is a great radio, and I thought I'd throw it in uh, as an honorable mention. It, uh, I tell you what, if it had 100 watts output, this would be the choice. 
it's five hundred ninety nine dollars on Giga Parts. I think they've got a coupon on uh, those right now. I think so. That's uh, a pretty good bargain. I think. And of all of these prices and all of my picks are based on September 2014. Well, that wraps it up for this video. I didn't want to make it too long, short and sweet and to the point. And as you can see, you've seen my picks. So I hope you'll uh, do your own due diligence, do your own further research, see what you'd like to buy, and then go for it. And as always, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you checking into the channel. And take care.